Hi, this is Scoggin, and it's time for a beer review. And the beer what I'm reviewing uh, today uh, was sent to me by my uh, very good friend, uh, Mike Dobbs at Mick Cotton's Barbecue. And uh, uh, the name of the beer is Longboard Island Lager. Go ahead and show you the bottle. It's so cool. Uh, it's got the uh, water and it's got people like surfing and everything. And uh, going to go ahead and uh, read a little bit about this. And he also sent me a little bit about it. So going to go ahead and read it to you. Uh, the beach where it all began. It says uh, longboards have been a a constant feature at Waikiki Beach for over 90 years. The great Duke uh, had Namoku, father of modern serpent, paddled his handshake wooden board a whopping 16 feet long and weighing 114 pounds out into the surf to ride the waves off of Waikiki. This uh, behip moth was dubbed a long longboard and an ancient Polynesian sport of surfing was reborn. Today in the shadow of Diamond Head, Waikiki Beach is still the spot of Fought to learn the tradition of longboard surfing. Here you will catch set after set of rolling waves until the sun fades below the horizon and then it's time for a beer. I'm having problems reading because of my eye. Uh, it says Thirst Up, Kanoa Brewing Company, Pay tribute to the big board serving and this famous Hawaiian beach with our refreshing longboard island lager. The, this crisp pale gold lager is made with premium pale malt and aromic hops brewed in a tradition of lager style. Like the last wave of the day, the favorite surf break. Longboard is a smooth and easy going brew that you enjoy time and time again. That's up. Uh, and it's got a, a little map here what shows where it's uh, a brewed at. Uh, let's see, there's Honolulu right here. And also it's down here on... Uh, uh, Hawaii, the Big Island. So there's two two points there. What's uh really really neat. And on the back it says uh for you my friend uh from Mike Dobbs. Want to thank you so much, Mike, for sending this to me. I don't know anything about this uh brew, and it's uh really a a cool bottle, uh, Canola Brewer, Cano, Kona, Kona Brewing Company, uh, Longboard Island Lager. Let me see if I can find anything else on this. Brewing a bottle by Canola Brewing Company, Port Collins Company for Brewing, uh, Canola Brewing, Canola, Hawaii. My whole up for drinking responsibility. Uh, on this it says, I don't find the alcohol by volume, but on this it says it's uh, alcohol by volume is 4.6 alcohol by volume. So this helped me out a little bit there. And just uh, uh, my good friend, my, uh, uh, Mick Cotton uh, Barbecue, uh, Mike Dobbs, uh, went to uh, the island of Hawaii 
And this is what he drank. And he just sharing, uh, it's so cool that he's sharing the drink, what he drank over there, and the beer what he drank with me. Because I, I'll probably never make it to Hawaii. Uh, because Mrs. Coggett, uh, she don't like to fly, and that's the only way you can get there. Unless we go by boat. We might go by boat someday. I don't know. But uh, just uh, uh, want to give you a big shout out. And something else, by looking at this uh, bottle and everything, and seeing the surfers out there, hopefully you can see that, brings back the uh, uh, really fun movies of the 60s, or uh, the beach movies. I mean, uh, uh, it just, uh, there was so many uh, good beach movies out there, and they, they included in surfing and everything, uh, and, and that was uh, during the 60s. And just don't have that anymore these days. Uh, it kind of died out. But back in the 60s, that was a going thing. In fact, I had a friend, uh, getting a little off subject, but I had a good friend, what, here in Tornado Alley, Texas, there is not any a beach around for uh, thousands of miles, but he had a, a, a surfboard. And it was so cool to walk in, and he's got a surfboard, and boy, he took care of it. He waxes it down and says, uh, someday I'm going to go surfing in California, Hawaii, or somewhere. And it just cool. Brought back some memories. This brought back some memories, and I want to thank you again, my good friend, uh, uh, Mike Dobbs at Mick Cotton Barbecue. So without further ado now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and... Uh, crack this open. Oh, and I see something else. I'm, hang on. It says a spirited, crisp, and refreshing brew. Longboard Island is a smooth ride all the way. Thirst up. So, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot here. Got my uh, Big Reggie uh, opener here. Shout out to you, big my brother Big Reggie. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pour this bag, boy. See what we got. I see a lot of carbonation. Got a nice color to it, right? A uh, real clear amber color. Uh, kind of look, looks kind of crisp, got a lot of carbonation to it. The head is uh, slowly dissipating uh, pretty fast. It's not lingering. It's like uh, just getting to the point and, and uh, dissipating. So, going ahead and uh, going to give it a sniff. I really don't smell much of nothing, really, to uh, tell you the truth. Uh, let me let this sit a minute, or sit a little bit. I like the color, though. It's, it's really nice. I can look through it. And... I do uh, sense... Uh, a smell of a kind of a citrus smell, kind of a citrus smell, but it's not overpowering. I mean, it's not like this uh, brew has not got really a whole lot of smell to it. Uh, nothing to sniff. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, uh, take a taste of it. May maybe it's uh, in the taste.
it's in the taste, my friends. It's uh, this brew is is got. Let me take taste it again. I taste like a a bitterness of the hops. There's like a cereal grain going on. There's a sweetness of like a, a kind of an orange peel, a well, a tartness of an orange peel and lemon peel. And uh, there's a little uh, tanginess to it. It's got a very pleasant aftertaste. I like the aftertaste. It's like uh, if you ate a, a lemon peel, which I've ate lemon peels before, and it has that that kind of lingering uh, gr good taste to it, and that's what this beer is about. And I'm um, going to go ahead and take one more taste before I rate it. Rate my beers from one being the lowest, five being the highest. This is just a, a good, crisp, refreshing beer. It really is. And the, the taste is, like I said, it's got the, the taste of a, a, a little bit of a bitter from the, uh, uh, like, orange peel, lemon peel, but a smooth. The aftertaste is really pleasant. I like this. I really like this beer. I've never seen it uh, around here. Longboard Island and Longboard. Wow, I've never seen it. But, uh, like I say, I rate it from one to five. One being the lowest, five being the highest. Uh, with my taste and everything, I'd have to give this one a five. I really would. I like it. Uh, it's uh, crisp and refreshing. Uh, it's got like something there, what's not there. <laughs> it's it's kind of kind of hard to describe because when you look at it, it's not like a blue moon, but it has that uh, like that a uh, twang of a, a citrus, and that's what I like about it. Oh, really, really great refreshing beer. I can see where where I can sit back on a uh, the island and everything, kick back. Wouldn't do any surfing because I'd probably kill myself. But uh, sit back and just uh, enjoy myself and uh, watch everybody else surf. Uh, that would be a treat for me. But this is Scoggin. And... Uh, this is my review of the Longboard Island Lager. Appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. Uh, if you can find this, give it a try. It's really a good, a good brew. Really a good brew. Uh, and this is Scoggett. And I'm going to get to enjoying this. And y'all take care.